like when I last played, people used to love to, like people would actually spend money, like their own hard earned money to buy gold in the game, you know. And that like concept just seemed so stupid to me. I'm like, why? Like, why are you, you know, I feel like anytime you are spending so much money just to get ahead in a game, like that just seems ridiculous. I just take the collection professions and farm for like two hours. See, at the moment I'm doing, yes, they do still charge a monthly fee. It's like 14 euros or something. Um, so it's fine though. As soon as I'm not playing, I'm canceling it. I'm done. I'm not like going to let it, you know, just be a reoccurring thing because if I'm not playing it, uh, it's done. So what profession do you think would make the most money, Rice Krispie? Right now, I'm, uh, I've done enchanting and I've done um, tailoring. But I was actually thinking of doing, like, getting rid of my tailoring and doing mining or something. I don't know. I don't really care to, to grow my profession, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't really care to... Um, level my profession and be like level whatever in the profession and do all the you know like learn all the things like I don't I don't really care for that herbalism and alchemy Ugh. so I have to start all over again basically <laughs> Like I thought I would do tailoring and enchanting because then I can do, I can like, if I tailor something, then I can enchant what I've tailored, you know, and then it makes it better. But to find all the stuff that you need to actually tailor something is turning out to be quite expensive, you know. Like you got to go out and buy all these different dyes and, you know, cloths and things and... And then my enchanting stuff, everything I disenchant, I'm not actually getting anything. Like I keep getting the same three or four things when I've disenchanted something. And then when I try and do a recipe, it needs random stuff that I've never even like gotten, you know. So I'm like, I have, I've literally gotten nowhere with enchanting. I think I'm still level two or something. And then tailoring, I think I'm level 50. I don't even know. I had a guy give me a modded grenade in BF2. You can sell it over and over. Really? Which game do you normally play? I don't normally actually play a lot of games, to be honest. Um, my primary content is usually IRL. I normally do, like, we've got the backpack. We normally go out quite a lot. We walk around. We explore. We do, you know, just showing you guys what life in South Africa is like. I don't normally spend a lot of time playing games if i do stream at the pc it's usually to drink and chat and hang out and you know um you know we do silly little um like activities like we do outfit roulettes we do balloons we do you know all like silly stuff like that you know i don't normally sit at the pc and game like that's not my primary content so I had a squares at the Sony 18 to 135. I definitely go with that lens to start with. 45 centimeter close focus, stabilized, and quite sharp and nice on a 6 6400. <laughs> you think so? You'd rather go for that than the what was that other one called? Um, let me see. The other one was a. I, I thought the other one would be better because it had a bit more of a zoom, you know. Um, let's see. So it comes with, it comes either just as the body or it comes with the 18 to 135 mil lens or it comes with 16 to, okay, yes. So you, yeah, okay, we're on the same page, yes. 
Uh, that's what I'm thinking we should get. We should get the 18 to 135 mil lens. It also comes with a 16 to 50 millimeter lens, but I don't really think, like, I don't know much about lenses, but I would think we'd want a further zoom, right? Like, is that what that means? I would think we'd rather want the, the further zoom than have the super close-up, like, you know? That's what I would think we would want. Also, the... the Sony with the lens, that 18 to 135mm lens, it costs 23,695 rand. Okay. If you get it with the 16 to 50mm lens, it costs 18,795. And that, like, that $300 difference, like, if you just buy that 18 to 135 millimeter lens on its own, it's something like almost 12,000 Rand just for the lens on its own. So you do save, I think you save a little bit of money by just buying that big lens, that big lens with the camera and being done, you know? I mean, you're saving like 50% by doing it that way. I would say that is better. Go, girl, go. It was also um, like we were trying to figure out like, you know, which one would be heavy. Obviously, the, the 18 to 135 is heavier. And because we've got to put the camera on a stabilizer, we, you know, we were just like... We don't want it to be too heavy, but I googled it and I think that 18 to 135 only weighs about 375 grams, so it's not too heavy, luckily. Thank you for following. When you see Mahanme again, please thank him for gifting me a sub. I will definitely do that, Blicky. He was here like when the stream started this morning. You can get a teleconverter instead of two different lenses. A what now? A what now? Say say what? <laughs> say what again? What? <laughs> what do you mean, Jay? Rick doesn't like the OSS though. Rick doesn't like it. He's been Googling like videos of when people have the OSS on and when people have the OSS off. And like he was saying it like it, it wasn't good enough. It didn't it wasn't good enough for us, you know, as live streamers. Like it was still pretty crap, you know. So for that camera to make it not crap, <laughs> we would need a stabilizer, like a proper gimbal, you know? Um, no, not really, Jay. The prop, the thing is, like, the Nikon fits a specific purpose for a stream. Like, the Nikon is not something we can walk around with and use every single day um, as a normal everyday streaming camera. It's got a very specialized use, you know. If we want to go look at wildlife or we want to go look at, you know, like we're going to go on a nature hike and we want to go look at birds and we want to look at bugs and we want to look at I don't even know what, like stuff that's over there, you know, then it is absolutely perfect. If we want to look at the moon, if we want to go look at the Milky Way, the stars, whatever, it's absolutely perfect. What we want to do now, okay, Tempest, we'll see you later, hopefully. What we want to do now is replace, okay, not replace. We want to sort of replace the camera that we're using to stream right now, which is the Sony action camera, and get a more 
well-rounded camera that has first of all a bit of a zoom because this one doesn't zoom at all it's just a wide angle camera we want something that has a bit of a zoom we want something that has better quality you know for low light if you like if we streaming at night this camera is crap in the dark like we just end up looking like you know you can't even see us whereas the so the other camera that we want to get has amazing low light capability so we could stream at night quite easily and